All right. Oh, hey. <laughs> this week's Health in a Hand Basket registered dietitian and nutritionist Emily Kyle with us Woo! to talk about National Woo! Pasta Month. All right. I love pasta, uh, but I got to watch out because as many people do, it's full of calories and it's full of sugar. Yes. If you're trying to watch uh, your uh, sugar for, for diabetics, Absolutely. you got to be careful. Got to be careful. And, you know, we just, we live in America. We already know our portion sizes are outrageous. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, so when it comes to pasta, we're really being mindful about portion sizes. I'm the kind of dietitian where, hey, I don't think that pasta should be excluded by any means, but there are healthier ways to incorporate it. So we got a great couple set of recipes here today. Okay. Great. And it looks and smells amazing. Doesn't it? Everything yes. is so delicious. So let's start over here. We have okay. a pasta fagioli soup from the American Diabetes Association. And what I love about this is I made a huge big batch it only has one cup of pasta in it really? really yes but the beans and the vegetables really help to round it out and get that volume in there so you feel like you're eating a ton you really get filled up but there's only one cup of vegetables huh. so we also have or oh, one, one cup, cup of, of pasta. pasta yeah okay yes yeah, so we also have beans in there so that's going to be another complex carbohydrate that's going to help to fill you up and keep you satisfied but we've got a ton of veggies tomatoes celery onions carrots all the good stuff so you're getting in the volume without the calories mm. which is great good. tastes really really good because there's a little bit of bacon That's in there too. Bacon? Let's try this. Yeah, mm. gotta have nice the bacon. To bring some samples <laughs> she always does. And now oh. this uses canned beans, canned right? Beans. And then canned tomatoes? And canned tomatoes. Okay. And just make sure you're looking for the low sodium version. Uh, uh huh. Wow. Almost. Really, really, really good, good, right? I just can't believe when I put only in one cup of pasta, I was like, oh, it doesn't it doesn't seem like a lot. But you when put you in one cup, uh, one cup of dry pasta. Oh. It really goes far, though. Yeah, it really goes far. And you can use whatever kind of pasta. They called for shells, but I use... The, you know, Really call it for I call them bow ties. Yeah, yes. uh -huh. bow ties. Oh. But it just it really kind of fills it out. That bacon is mm. it gives it a really nice um yeah. texture. I don't know, it just tastes Ball, really good. Really, well. really yes. hearty, you yes. know. Yes. It feels like you're eating yes. a lot without mm -hmm. actually eating it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is great. Excellent. Thank you so much. Another recipe mm. we have from the American Diabetes Association. Now you know I like to come in with my zoodler, but not everybody mm. has one of those, which I really was impressed with this recipe. So all they do is use a simple peeler to make what they call popper del noodles. So you know in Italian cuisine, the popper oh. del noodles are those wide cut fettuccine mm, noodles. Mm, yeah. Well, this you'd simply just take this and you here you go. That's all. That's all. And it that's is. a noodle. And that's a noodle. Yeah. So this recipe from the American Diabetes Association takes like that classic, um, what's it called, pasta carbonara mm. again with some bacon, a little mm -hmm. bit of cream sauce. But this has no pasta at all in it. But when you do those zucchini and carrots in that noodle form, it just gives that same consistency mm -hmm. and like satisfaction mm -hmm. fa factor. So let me know what you think of it because I was really impressed i was like i could actually do this now jennifer has tried the i asked her before in the break i said have you tried the zucchini noodles and, did. and I said, how do they cook up? And you have to saute them first, saute right? Saute them first. Uh -huh. Yep, this one actually boils these first okay. for about two to four minutes. That way they're nice and soft, but then you cook them in the cream sauce. Isn't that good? Really? I was really surprised how good it was. And that, I mean, you're saving yourself at least 50 grams of carbohydrates. No. There's no pasta in it at all, but it tastes fantastic. Mm -hmm. oh, Isn't that surprisingly mm -hmm. good? I was totally impressed. So, wow, you just, you this just boil them. You just boil them, and then when you're making your cream sauce in the last minute you pour it into the cream sauce and that's it so not only are you not getting the carbs of the pasta, but you're getting the serving of the vegetables. But you're getting the vegetables, okay. and that's what I always really want to drive home is it's not really what you're taking away, but the good that you're getting. You're right. getting the fiber. You're getting the nutrients. I so am it's so kind of like sold. a win-win for everybody. Anytime you want to adopt me, I am <laughs> I am not ready. It, this really is really, really good. good. And, yeah. and, and, and the thing about it is the um, consistency of the zoodle. It or the still gives you that, zoodle. like... It's the noodle's good. Yeah. Where can we get the recipe? You can get the recipe on the Fox Rochester website and American Diabetes Association. Mm. Wow. Two thumbs up. Oh, Thank you. you.